Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCut AliExpress Dropship Management module. And in today's video tutorial, uh, we'll be checking out the module configuration of this extension. We'll be uh, going ahead and we'll be checking what different uh, options are there in the admin backend that are needed to be configured uh, for making use of this extension. So uh, let's get ahead and let's log into the admin backend panel in the first place. After logging in, we'll uh, navigate to extensions. Extensions. We'll select modules and we'll go to the dropshipping extension and we'll click on the edit button. And here we have the uh, module backend settings for this extension. So well, let's go ahead and let's see what different options we have here. Uh, the very first option that you see is uh, the uh, option to enable or disable this extension for use. So if you have selected it as enable, then the status of your extension will be enabled and you'll be able to use the extension. Now below that we have three different uh, tabs. The very first one is the general one, the other one is the product and the last one is the AliExpress tab. Now under the general tab, we have two different options. The very first one is the uh, dropship user group. Now, uh, whichever uh, or uh, we can say the selected user group that you have selected here would act as warehouse manager group and the allowed permissions will be given to the warehouse managers. So you need to select, select the dropship user group to which you have already um, assigned some permissions uh, regarding the access below that we have the option complete order status so now you need to select the order status that would be checked to perform the transaction log so if you have selected complete and now to uh, perform the transaction logs if the uh, status there is also complete then the uh, complete order status would be set as uh, done so this was about the general one the other tab that we have is the uh, product tab and here we have the options related to the uh, various uh, uh, different options here. So the very first one that we have here, the very first option that we have here is uh, warehouse manager can add product. If you have selected it as enable then this allows the warehouse manager to add the products else if you have selected disabled. Uh, then uh, the warehouse manager would not be able to add the uh, products uh, from his end. After that, we have direct to store option. You can select it as enabled or uh, disabled as per your need. So if enabled, the products would be pushed to the store directly without any approval. And else if we have selected it as disabled, an approval would be needed uh, to push the products to the store product fields now under this setting the admin will select the allowed product fields that can be added by the warehouse manager so you just need to select the options that would be available to the warehouse manager uh, so the product fields that you have selected would be available for the warehouse manager so this was about the product tab and now under the aliexpress tab also we have a number of options and the very first one is the username. So this username is uh, at a later time, the very first one this, at a later time is used to import products from AliExpress store uh, to your open card web store. The second option here we have is token. Now you need to refresh this to generate a new token. This token and the username would be used to import the products from AliExpress store uh, to your open cart web store quantity now you need to set the quantity for aliexpress products when products will be imported from aliexpress into your open cart web store so this is the quantity that would be set as default for those products after import language for imported products you need to select a language for the imported products as per your requirement Imported products review status. You can set this option as enabled or disabled. 
as per the requirement. So uh, product reviews are imported in both cases but to enable or disable the imported reviews select enable or disable as per your need. After that we have the option to select the store. So select the store where the imported products would be added if you have a number of uh, uh, stores uh, created you can select the uh, uh, required store as per your need the last option that we have here under the aliexpress uh, settings is aliexpress product variation text now you need to set the aliexpress product variation text as option name for the open cart store what this actually means is that after you have imported any of the uh, products from Aliexpress uh, that are having uh, different options within them so when you go to the uh, Aliexpress product section under the uh, open card dropship extension uh, menu options there what you'll uh, find is that under the option section the text for the options would be set whatever whatever you have entered here so uh, whatever option you have entered here would be visible under the options section uh, for the aliexpress variation text so uh, that was all about the configuration setting in the admin backend for this extension we have already configured the dropship extension uh, for the general product and aliexpress settings and after doing this we'll just click the same button to save uh, this configuration settings and uh, we are done configuring the module so uh, that was all about the uh, open cut aliexpress dropship management module uh, configuration settings so uh, in the uh, next uh, coming videos we'll be showing you how the admin can manage the warehouse and how he can add the warehouses add products to the warehouses assign warehouse products uh, and a lot of other things related to pricing rules, orders, income and transaction logs. We'll also be showing you how a warehouse manager can um, manage his warehouse at his own end. So uh, that will all come up in the coming next video. So uh, thanks for watching this video and hope it helped you out uh, with the configuration settings for the module there. If you have any query or questions regarding this extension, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day ahead.